Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to your love reading for Cancer. And this is going to be a reading for Cancer and Cancer's person. And we are going to go ahead and get started. But first, I want to welcome everybody to the channel. Everyone who is new, please welcome yourselves. Hit that like button, you guys. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. I do a giveaway for all new subscribers. First, anyone who subscribes to the channel is automatically entered in your chance to win for the monthly giveaway. Everything that I give away on the monthly giveaway is below. I also do a weekly giveaway for a three question reading with me. Um, it is going to be a pre-recorded video reading. Um, however, to enter into the drawing to win, you have to hashtag win or hashtag free reading in the comments below. I will choose three winners every single week. Okay. I am going to be looking for three winners on today. So please make sure you guys hashtag win in the comments. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I also have two other channels on YouTube. Queen Cancer Tarot is my main channel. Um, and my other two channels, She Reads Tarot, I read for all 12 signs on She Reads Tarot. And then on Tarot Talk Live, I do readings for celebrity news, celebrity gossip, conspiracy theories, and the like. We also do talk about different topics, narcissist, uh, sleeping, uh, dieting, dating, all sorts of topics, astrology, all of that over on Tarot Talk Live. The link is below. If you would like to book a reading with me, please go to my website and the link for that is below. Um, I am taking reading requests now. Um, I also am going to be going live later to announce the monthly winners for August. Okay. So, Stay tuned for me to go live to announce the winners for August and for the weekly winners. And then I'm going to be announcing the winners on my channel, She Reads Tarot. I will likely do that on tomorrow evening, okay? All right. So let's go ahead and get started, Cancer. So first, what I want to do... is I'm just going to pull an oracle message or oracle here. And I'm going to pull one for you, Cancer, and then we are going to pull a message for your person. All right, and then we will start with the reading. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell us about Cancer, please. Tell us what Cancer needs to know, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. What does cancer need to know today, please? Spirit, angels, and guides, tell us about cancer, please. Okay, so cancer, you have door to spirit number 32. Tell us about cancer's person. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell us about cancer's person, please. Okay, and we have number 51, healer of the ages. Healer of the ages. Okay. Okay, so door to spirit and number 51, Healer of the Ages, okay? Um, door to the Spirit is your energy here, Cancers. This talks about uh, <clears throat> a, some sort of a spiritual awakening. So you may be going through a spiritual awakening right now or there is some new beginning um, spiritually that you are experiencing. Um, some, there's like a, a light that is being turned on for you and you are seeing or going into a deeper understanding of your identity as it comes to spirit. Okay. Um, this basically, you know, is what happens when you go through a lot of deep internal changes. Okay. Um, also, 
you could be tapping into spiritual gifts. Some of you may be psychics or some of you may have the gift of dreaming things and you're starting to, <clears throat> your spirit is starting to be more open and more um, awake to the fact that you have these gifts, right? So some of you are really starting to tap into your true identity, all right? So you may be spending a lot of time alone or out in nature. This, you know, but that's tapping into what the divine is trying to show you and open you up to, okay? So some of you are just starting on your spiritual journey right now. Um, when it comes to your person with healer of the ages, this talks about health and vitality. So whenever you see this card, you may have, um, like this is an energy of somebody who is, um, tapping into their, um, tapping into their energy forces, right? Um, this is an energy of someone who is uh, healing from something. Um, this talks about having some sort of an assistance to unblock energy that keeps you stuck, okay? Um, I feel like you're tapping into energy right now. There is some healing that is taking place within you, okay? So I, so, you know, this could be someone who suffered something, some sort of a hurt in the past. And this person is now starting to heal from this and stronger or able to get through a situation. So this is someone who has suffered, could have recently suffered a loss of some sort, okay? Um, but this person is like, I don't know, you see this person as being really strong, okay? You see this person as being really strong here. So let's see what's happening here. Let's see what's going on here. about cancer please cancer please I'm going to pull some more oracle and I'll look at spirit about cancer please Holy Spirit angels and guides tell us about cancer what does cancer need to know Holy Spirit angels and guides what does cancer need to know today? Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about cancer, please. Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about cancer. So we have anger. Anger. Death. And gratitude. Okay, anger, death, and gratitude here. So some of you may <clears throat> have uh, argued with someone in the past or there's someone that did something or said something to hurt you. Um, I feel like you are no longer speaking to this person or this is someone that you've broken or cut off ties with this person because of the way this person talked to you. Um, 
an energy of something this person said. Um, but I do feel like now, Cancer, with the death card and the current energy, that you are getting over this or you're, you know, there's an energy of letting it go. Okay, just letting it go. Um, you know, this talks about someone being sick or in the hospital. I feel like there could be an energy of this person whoever did something to you in the past, like whatever this person is going through, I feel like it's not to you. It's not important. It's no longer important. What's important is the relationship you have with this person. So there's an energy of letting go of whatever it was this person said in the past, because you just want to be there for this person or, you know, be a friend to this crew. And with gratitude, I do feel that this is going to end up being a blessing. You know, say, you know, this person ends up being very ill um, and, you know, their health is kind of going downhill, um, but you had an opportunity to, you know, talk to this person, you know, tell this person that you forgive them for whatever took place in the past. There was some sort of healing that took place. And I feel like you're going to be very grateful that you let go. You're going to be very grateful that whatever it was that was between you and this person that, you know, you just kind of squashed it. Okay. You just squashed it. So that's what I am seeing here. So let's look at the tarot here. Tell us about anger, please. Tell us about anger. Someone got angry or someone has um, said something. Um, we have the wheel of fortune in the reverse, y'all. The wheel of fortune just flew out in the reverse. So again, this is something that happened in the past that you, it just kind of got out of control. It just kind of spun out of control. I don't feel like you intended for things to go the way that they went, but they did. Um, but there's an energy of, you know, you want your, something within you is, you know, wanting to forgive this person, you may not have even spoken to this person. You may not have even seen this person. Okay. But something within you is like, you know, I, gosh, I wish I could just, you know, have a conversation with this person and let them know that, you know, I forgive them. Okay. Two of wands underneath the deck. This talks about taking the next step. Someone is making plans, okay, to take the next step. And I feel like this also, again, may be something that's been very difficult. You know what I'm saying? But now that you are on this spiritual journey, now that you are going through this awakening, it is becoming a lot easier to to just let go of the things that no longer serve your purpose, okay? The two of wands is also an energy of, you know, needing to continue and move forward. Let's not just talk about it, but let's actually do something here. Tell me about the death card, please. Tell me about the death card, please. For Cancer, Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Oh, okay. And look, we have the star, we have the star, ultimate healing at the end of the day. This is all about healing, having faith in the future, okay? Um, and believing that things are going to change, okay? This talks about positive changes, bringing an end to a very challenging time or just a light at the end of the tunnel, remember? And that's exactly what I said here. There's an energy of there being a light at the end of the tunnel or there's an energy energy of you just really just want to get this over with, okay, with the hermit under the deck. Look, you have been sitting back and contemplating, okay, and thinking about this thing for a long time now. I feel like this is someone that you haven't spoken to in many months or years even. Been. This is someone you have taken a long time to talk to how to move forward. And now 
there's an energy of just wanting to get it over with. You no longer want to sit in this state of hiding behind anything and you're just ready to let it go. And you know, a weight is going to come off of your shoulder. This card just flew out of the deck. Look, the four of swords. Look at this. This talks about peace and healing, rejuvenation, recovering, getting over a situation or at least at the very minimum, relaxation and peace. Okay. Peace and quiet, a calm energy. This is because, you know, you no longer have that weight on your shoulder. This could also be an energy of someone who's literally going to sleep or resting you know, heaven forbid, if anything should happen and, you know, say a friend is sick or, you know, passing or something to that nature, you know, it could be very difficult, okay, um, to know that that person, you know, left and you never had a chance to say, I'm sorry, or you never had a chance to tell that person that you forgave them and that, you know, there's no bad blood or animosity between you and that person. I feel like this is a uh, very important here. Okay. Um, and I feel like again, with healer of the ages, like even though time has passed, I feel like this person also wants to be in that same energy, they also want to squash the situation. Under the deck, the queen of wands, okay? Um, this is an energy of someone who is coming in, um, wanting to maneuver and control the situation. So there's some outside force that is going to help bring this to a close. There could be, you know, a, another friend or a role model or just someone else that, you know, is outside the situation looking in that may bring some assistance to this. Um, it may take you reaching out to a third party to even know what's going on or where how to get in touch with this person. Okay. Um, so yeah. So there is that. So let's look at your person's energy real quick. Let's look at Cancer's person. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about Cancer's person, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about Cancer's person, please. And this could have been a situation where, like, he like it was just not possible at the time because of you know whatever inhibitions that you know you had or this person may have had to even have a conversation so as life goes on people change okay they go through things they get softer they get harder i mean people change so it may be a different conversation now okay Tell me about Cancer's person, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. What does Cancer need to know? Okay, so we have sleep. Okay. We have deception in the reverse. And we have time. It will happen within a month. Okay. It will happen within a month. So... With sleep here, this talks about um, not having a phone in the bed or there's an energy of no one able to contact you, not being able to be contacted while you're, you know, on this break from this person. So maybe you block this person's number out, okay, um, and there's an energy of you know, as soon as you unblock this person, you may end up getting a phone call from them. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, different pillow mattress. I do feel like um, this person is like someone may reach out to you in a different method or there may be an energy of you know, needing to reach out to this person from a different number, 
perhaps, um, with deception here in the reverse. This says easily ignoring, and it's in the reverse. Easily ignoring your intuition. And that's what stuck out to me here. I do feel like this person, like, it's going to be to the point where, you know, you're not going to just sit back and accept the fact that this person is not talking to you or, you know, um, this person is angry at you. So there's no way for you to get through. There's an energy of, you know, not giving up. There's an energy of not giving up, not giving up easily. Okay. Not being ignored, not being an easy person to ignore. Okay. Not being an easy person to ignore. And I feel like you may reach out to this person, you know, around the way. Okay. Um, and whatever is going to happen, it's going to take a month or so. And then I feel like you are going to be able to get through to this person. So once you start reaching out to this person, it's going to take a few weeks, but I feel like within a month, you are going to be successful in contacting this person. And there is going to be a conversation that gets had with this person. Um, let's look at the tarot here. So tell me about sleep here. Tell me about sleep, not having the phone in the bed, needing to try to go about things in a different way, trying a different method. But with sleep, there's an energy of not being able to access this person. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about sleep, please. Tell me about sleep. And we have the sun, okay? A time of great joy and success, brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities, plans that work out perfectly, and gratitude to the divine. So plans that work out perfectly is standing out. I feel like this person um, with the sun, that's also an energy of something that is seen or realized it's like seeing something right in front of you or like an energy of having an idea come to light okay so someone has come up with the idea of you know i feel like there's an energy of getting this person to wake up or getting this person to even see that you're there okay getting this person to see that you're there, okay? And the two of wands is also someone who's making some sort of a plan with that wheel of fortune in the reverse. They have not been successful, okay? But there's an energy of needing to go around the way, go around about the situation in some sort of way. So I feel like Calling this person from a different number is exactly what it's going to take. Look, the nine of swords under the deck. This is an energy of somebody who is scorned, somebody who feels betrayed. Um, but this also talks about a dead end. Okay. And with that sun and the nine of swords, someone is seeing a way through. Somebody has an idea. It's like you you may come up with this in the middle of the night or you may be laying in bed and, you know, you're like, you know what? I should try this. Once you do that, I think that's going to be the catalyst or this is going to be the way that you're going to be able to reach out to this person. Um, not giving up. OK, tell me about deception in the reverse. Tell me about deception in the reverse. Not able to be deceived by this person. This person has been in hermit mode, but I feel like you have been very diligent about wanting to squash things and let things go. Look, 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 look. We have the seven of swords. 
Seven of Swords. This is someone who, again, deception in the reverse, Seven of Swords, and then you have the Seven of Cups underneath the deck. This is somebody who is, I feel like it's like someone who's been able to keep underneath the radar or someone who's been able to kind of uh, stay under the, yeah, stay under the radar. Okay, seven of swords, seven of cups. This is an energy of someone being evasive or extremely elusive. Okay, like you don't know where this person is, okay, or how to get in contact with this person. You are absolutely confused. There's an energy of not having a clue, um, but also not giving up. not being able to be betrayed. I feel like this person has been able to stay under the radar only for so long, okay? But I feel like their time is, is getting ready to be up. I feel like they're going to be found. It's going to happen within a month, and this person is going to have to face you. Look at all these cards that just fell out. So I will take the two that came face up here. So you have the five of pentacles. Look at this. Five of Pentacles and the Two of Cups here. Within a month, you know what I'm saying? You are going to be reconciling with this person. There's an energy of um, timing, okay? It's been bad timing. This talks about reaching out to others for assistance, okay? Reaching out to others for assistance here. And remember what I said about getting this queen of wands energy or this outside person to come in and help. That's what's going to happen. And um, there's going to be someone that you are going to reach out to. Okay. Or someone that, you know, is going to reach out to this person on your behalf. Okay. Underneath the deck, the eight of swords. See, you have been stuck. There's an energy of being blocked or not being able to get through to this person. But I feel like this third party, whoever you're reaching out to has direct access to this person. This cancer is about to come back in or you are about about to reconnect or or find out where this person is so that you can go to them. I do feel is going through some changes right now. There's something happening um, with this person. Um, that you can't see, but this person, it, everything is going to um, come together, however. I feel like things are going to come together when you do. So I would like to take things into an extended. I do want to see what is coming towards you that you can't see happening. Any ancestors, sorry, regarding this connection or this karmic Um what are the challenges that you're going to face along the way um, and what the final outcome is going to be. Okay, so we will take it into an extended. I will have a link available, okay, for you. This extended will be available on my other platform for Gumroad. Um, it's $11.11. If you're interested, please click on the link below. I love you guys so much. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And I will see you next time and come back later. Make sure your notifications are set. So when I go live, y'all can just jump right on in shout out when you guys do come in the room. Just say something. Let me know you're here. Say hello. And I will see you then. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.